I still want to talk about preparing for an interview. A lot of interviews are being conducted online virtually now, but we still have to treat it as if we're going in person into the actual interview, right? So these are some things that I would encourage you to do if you're out there about to get a job and you're going for that interview process. These are some of the things. I'm in the tech side of things. I'm in the technology world. I'm a designer throughout the day. First thing is that you can never truly prepare for an interview. So don't try to go take exams, do a lot of research and try to figure out, no, you can never truly prepare for an interview. You just have to go for it. The second thing is you have to feel very confident. You know yourself, right? There's a reason they've reached out to you that you did not reach out to them that they're interested even if you applied for it but they they replied back to you and they said they want to see you there's a reason for that so you have to go in there being very confident that they need you they need you more than you need them and you have to have that mentality you are going to be tested even in your if you're going for a new role you're going to be tested if you're in a current role you're going to be tested by different people they're going to try to make you seem that you're not good enough or even give you hints that you should self-doubt yourself, but don't do it. If you are good at what you do, a majority of people will be happy. These are the things that you have to look forward to. Just know that you can only please the majority and not everybody, right? We are not an everybody pleaser. The, God did not make us to be perfect, so we can't have such high expectations of ourselves. We're going to have slips and falls, and we're not going to be able to please everybody. Dress professionally, of course, even if these things are happening virtually now or in an office. Do your research on the company. It's good that you know some information about them. You're not going to know everything. You should be going in there with questions and trying to get an idea of what does the company do from a person that actually works there. At the end of you, listen before asking. Try to understand exactly all the details about the whole company. Listen to what they tell you about the company and different things about what they do so you un have a better grasp and understanding and you can better articulate the type of questions that you're going to ask. These are some of the things that you should ask. What do they do on a day-to-day -day basis? For me, I started Recently, as a designer at another company, they told me that they're very data driven. So there's a lot of data that's being manipulated and trying to be presented to clients in different ways all the time. So there's a lot of that going on between the team on a day to day basis. Next question to ask is who will you mostly work with? If it's possible that you can actually meet them throughout the interview process so that way you can you can get a grasp of their personalities to see if someone you get along with or not. Another question to ask is what is expected of you? You will know by the answers to that whether this is going to be a crazy madhouse or if it's going to be chilled or if it's something that's going to be out of the line of what you're used to, out of your comfort zone. And depending on where you're at in your career, you may want something different out of your comfort zone to push you a little bit more or you may be very experienced and, and stuck in 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 the things that you're that you're used to doing and not want to really get out of that so that might be you and if someone is telling you all the negative things about the company they're not sugarcoating anything they're not telling you all the whole rainbow that is a good company you probably want to look at because they're not trying to falsify what they represent and what you're expected to do. They're very honest. It's better that you know all this up front. What will your workload be like during the day? That is very similar to the last question. However, this just kind of helps you with your job safety because if you know that you have a lot of work coming along for each single day, it kind of ensures that you have some job security for the long run because you don't want to go to a job and you can get everything done in three months and then after that you're bored out your mind, right? So you want to um, ensure that you have enough work down coming coming down the pipeline to, so you can fulfill. Find out what is the company working on in the near future or even in the future. That's very important for another job security feature because if they have a lot of innovative products that they'll be working on or innovative projects that they're participating in, you know that the company is going to be around for much longer because they might have contracts coming down the line and all these things. So it's very important that you 
you understand and, and find out what these things are. Get a little personal as well. Like ask about what is their favorite movie, their music, artists, different things, hobbies that they like to do and see the vibe and reaction that you get out of that too. Because if it spars into a whole nother conversation, then you kind of already get a vibe of what you're going to get yourself into. For me, I like to, 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 to have that. I like to work around fives because even if you have to work stressful days, it doesn't feel as stressful when the people around you have very positive motives and give you that good energy back. It's good vibes. That's pretty much all the ask that you should do. And lastly, just a general thing you should be thinking about is as you're interviewing and seeing how these people are answering your questions, see how they're reacting to you. See, see how they're vibing with you and do the conversation expand as well like do they seem to be adding a lot more personality into the answers because that shows you that they're okay they're a bit vulnerable that they're not perfect they're not stiff and they have a bit of juice in them that's very important to being at a workplace especially if you're going to be there for long term so these are some of the things i would definitely suggest you think about some of these questions that you also think about depending on your industry these may slightly differ or deviate but what's important is you go in there you know that you're not perfect be confident i know what i'm doing that's exactly why you brought me here and i'm coming here to do my thing and be able to excel at my job so always have that mindset when you're going out there for the interview and ace it so please subscribe if you haven't done so already let me know your thoughts drop a comment let me know what you're thinking please stay positive creative until next time